Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to run a Minecraft server on, on a Geo Fiber network. So, step one is to download the server, which you can download from Minecraft.net. After downloading the server file, just click on Keep, open the containing folder, copy it to a folder that you would like to run your server from. I have a Minecraft server in my documents folder, so I'll start from there. Now open your PowerShell window here in this directory. There are a few commands given. This, this command, just copy it and paste it here. So now it has created a few files here that we need to accept. So explorer.exe is over here. Okay. Minecraft server. Oh, it, it's called server.jar. No GUI. So it will create a few files now, and we have to accept the EULA in those. Over here, open EULA.txt and set EULA to true. Save it, close it. Now, run it again. Remove no GUI just to see the progress of our server. And we should be getting our server started any moment now. So here it is. So now our server is running and uh, well, there's not much going on here. It's just creating our world. Allow access uh, through the firewall whenever it asks. Now the second piece of the puzzle is to allow remote users to connect to our server. For this, we'll be using a service called remote it or remote.it. You need to create an account here and then download their Windows client because we are going to be doing this on Windows. I already have an account, so I'm just downloading the client. Okay, so it's taking some time, but I think I already have it installed. Okay, I do not. So, we will start the installation now. Install. Let's see, okay, our survey is still running. Okay, so now I'm running remote it. It'll ask me to sign in, allow access through the firewall again.
Okay. Now I will sign in with my email. Signing in. So now we have to set up our server on remote it. I click on setup. This is my device's name is laptop. Now over here we have a few services that are currently running on my server. Samba, Minecraft server and remote it admin. So I'll allow all those three services through. You can also allow those RTSP or whatever, but I don't need those. So I won't allow them. The reason why we are using remote it and not direct port forwarding is that GeoFiber particularly has a double NAT installed. So even if we open our ports in our router, they will not be forwarded. So, we'll, so now my server has been registered with remote it. So now I'll switch to an, another device and show you how you can connect to your Minecraft server. Before moving to another device, I wanted to add one more thing. Uh, open your server.properties with uh, notepad. Over here, look for online mode and turn it to false if it is true in your installation. For me, it is false, but it might be different for you. Okay, now let's move on to the other device. On your other device, download remote it and set it up. Now, as I already have remote it downloaded, I won't be downloading it again. Let's start with the setup. Now, after the setup, choose your device that you set up earlier and uh, connect to your minecraft server now it will take some time to connect as it is going through a proxy okay so now it is connected to the minecraft server so now let, let's try connecting to our server from the game so i'll open the game multiplayer direct connection and this is the address you should go to 127.0.0.1 port 33000 and join server there we have it and now i can use my remote server through a NAT. and uh, i think the game is pretty playable you know the, the lag is due to my laptop i don't think it's due to the ping Let's check it out. Okay, so the average ping seems to be near 30 ms, and right, <clears throat> the max seems to be at 6970. So that is pretty respectable. And uh, I have verified that this works through GeoFiber. I am using GeoFiber right now, but this should work through any any other NAT. It, it shouldn't be a problem. I hope you liked it and I hope this helps you.